Welcome back, everyone. Applications are now open for the next class of Philanthropy oh, Tank. I'm always so excited <laughs> when we get to talk about Philanthropy Tank here on CBS 12 News at 9. For those of you who don't know, Philanthropy Tank is an organization in Palm Beach County that helps to empower future change makers to make things happen. Let's bring in some friends to talk about this. Joining us this morning is the founder of Can Code and Philanthropy Tank alum, Noah Rubin and Amy Brin, CEO of Philanthropy Tank. She's been with us a number of times. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks for having us again. Uh, we are glad to have you. I want to start with you, Noah. You were a three. Uh, you were a, a year three the philanthropy tank finalist uh, with your program Can Code. Tell us about the program that got you this recognition and where it stands now. Yeah. So I started out just teaching computer programming after school to kids once a week, and then with the help of the philanthropy tank award, I've been able to expand to include more than twenty teenage volunteers. Um, over COVID, we've expanded to teaching more than t uh, 10 different youth centers after school and over summer break um, virtually. And I'm really excited to announce that in the coming weeks, we're going to be moving back to in-person, socially distanced uh, workshops. Well, that's awesome, Noah. How did Philanthropy Tank make this happen? This is your idea, but how did Philanthropy Tank help make it happen and come to reality? Philanthropy Tank was a huge, huge part of my success because not only do they give you funding, I was awarded $15,000, uh, which is a huge amount of money to start up a nonprofit here in South Florida, but also they give you mentorship. So I was hooked up with uh, two great mentors, Mr. John Scarpa and Miss Mary Ellen Gore, um, both amazing people. And I also got to go to lots of Philanthropy Tank workshops run by uh, Amy and lots of other community leaders where they teach about budgeting, uh, social media marketing, networking, how to talk with adults, how to work with teens, how to manage a, a business or a nonprofit. And just, it's been a great experience for me, my nonprofit. And also as I go forward, I'll be able to take all these different lessons with me next year in college. It's been neat for us to follow your journey to Noah. Where are you going to college and what are your plans for the future? Well, I was admitted uh, luckily to the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, and their M&T program where I'll be studying business and engineering. So I'm really excited to continue to uh, put my two passions together and continue to make social impact and change while I'm up there. All right, go Quakers. All right, Amy, <laughs> I, how about, you know, how does Philanthropy Tank really sort of step in and help these, uh, you know, these young students when they make this move to college? Well, just as Noah mentioned, I think, you know, we're not only are we teaching about professional skills to get these nonprofits launched, we're also working with them on personal development and things that will always go with them anywhere they go in life. Um, we're really excited to see the results of students like Noah who are taking their passion, they're applying it to what they're planning to do in their careers, and they're also going to continue and giving back to the community. That's a lifelong lesson that we're teaching through this whole process. So I think it really sets them up to be a well-rounded individual, and that's what most colleges are looking for. Amy, every time we have you on, we have people interested in this. <laughs> so what are the requirements to apply for Philanthropy Tank for anyone who's interested? You know, pretty simple. Uh, you know, you need to be a student in Palm Beach County, 8th through 12th grade. You can be in public or private school or homeschooled or alternative learning settings. Any student can apply. And we have application workshops happening over the summer. So even if you just have an idea, you're really not sure what to do with it, you can come to our workshop. We will frame it and help you build that idea and help you work through the application so you can put forth a, a very um, competitive submission. And that's going on right now. We have workshops in uh, May, uh, June, all throughout the summer, and we're going to have a summer application cycle. Well, we love seeing success stories like Noah come here on CBS 12 News at 9. Uh, but Amy, make sure you bring the finalists. We like seeing the ones working yes. on the, the next group as well. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. Bye, Deepa. So we'll see you me. soon.